In this lecture, I want to talk about scripts. So we've already seen the idea of a script a little bit in this course, but I want to take a second here just to cover them a little bit more. Uh, Groovy can sometimes be referred to as a scripting language because of its capabilities, but I think to limit it to just that would be wrong. Uh, scripts are like any other Groovy file that have an extension of .groovy, and they can be executed from a command line. In this next demo, we're going to create a simple script and run it. So I actually have a script here, and I will link to the source code, but I have a script called myscript.groovy, and let's open that in the Groovy console. Whoops. Console, my script. And so when this opens up, uh, it's just a basic script. It has a print line, and let's talk about this real quick. So a script is a Groovy file that contains Groovy code outside of a class declaration. What you might not expect is the script actually is compiled into a class. The Groovy compiler will compile the class for you with the body of the script copied into a run method. So let's take a look at this. If we run this, we get exactly what we think we should get. We get just a print line of that hello statement. But if you remember in a previous tutorial on the Groovy console, we know that there's a way that we can kind of inspect the output of this program. So what I want to do is jump into that using that AST browser and look at the result of this code. So you see we have this public class. There's script, some funny number after it, and it extends groovy.lang.script. Then there's some properties in here. There's a constructor. There's a construct, you know, an, an overloaded constructor. And then there's a main. There's actually a main method here. And that main method has a run script call. And remember before I told you that anything that we write gets copied into a method called run. So here is our print line statement that we had in the run method. So as I said, um, we don't start out with a class, but Groovy actually compiles our code into a class and puts the body here in that run method. So I hope this tutorial was helpful in kind of explaining how scripts work, and I will see you in the next lesson.